point P move in the ratio PO, PA is 1, 4. So here if you have O, A, so we know that P to O, P to O, Six point P move in the ratio PO to put PO to PA is equal to one to four, which means PO over PA is equal to one over four. So when we cross multiply, we get four PO is equal to PA. <coughs> All right. So here we know that O is the origin, which is zero zero. So A is 2, 0. So P is the moving point. So we have to find the equation of locus P. So we know that distance is x minus x1, distance of x square plus distance of y square. Right? This is the formula. So here for P O, which means 4. So the distance of P to O. So P for the p coordinate of p the one that keep on moving is x y so distance of x is x minus x1 is 2 is it 2 this is 0 0 right 0 square plus y minus 0 square is equal to so the distance from p to a so x minus so a x is 2 square plus so this one is 0 right so y minus 0 square you can also directly write y also can. Okay, so here we have 4. So third we have x square plus y square is equal to x minus 2 square plus y square. So to further calculate, we need to eliminate the third. So we square both sides. 4 square, we get 16. And then here, the third square, third and square can be cancelled out. So we are left with x square plus y square is equal to so this one third and square can be cancelled out we actually have one here so one square is one by the way so this one x minus two square plus y square so we can expand this one we get 16 x square plus 16 y square is equal to so we can expand this one we get x square two times negative two times x minus four x two square we get four plus y square so we bring it at one side. So here we get 16x square. So we have x square here. We bring to the left. We have minus x square. Okay. And then we have y square here. So we have y square here. Positive. So bring to the other side. We get negative y square. So we have... Okay. So we have this one. Negative 4x. Bring to the other side. We get plus 4x. And then we have positive 4. Bring to the other side. We get negative 4 is equal to 0. So here 16 minus x, we get 15x square. 16y minus y square, we get plus 15y square. So this one is plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the locus of point P. Find the equation of locus of moving point P such that its distance from the following points are the same. So what does it mean the same? The ratio is equal. So for example, if we have P, right, we know that we have point P. So if we have A, B, so we know that P is here. So this one is the same one, which means the ratio is 1 to 1. So we know that A, B, sorry, so A, P over, so A to P over P to B. So A, P to P, B is equal to 1, 1, right? So we know that A, P over P, B is equal to 1 divided by 1. So cross multiply, we know that A, P is equal to B, B. And this one applies to A, B, C because they said the distance is the same. So this one is basically... AP is equal to PB. This one is AP is equal to PB. So this, this case P is in between. This one is CP is equal to PD. Uh, PD or DP is the same thing because I mean we are talking about the same distance. Okay, this one is JP is equal to KP or PK, the same thing. Okay. So here A, we know that AP is equal to P. B. So this one is negative 2, 0. This one is B is 0, 4. So I did explain. 
So here AP, so we know that the formula is x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square. Where our P is x, y. So this one is x. So minus 2 is minus minus 2. Can also directly write as plus 2. So, so this one is x, y minus 0 square is equal to. So PB, so we have x minus x1 is 0 plus y minus y1 is 4 square. So in order to calculate, we want to remove the third, right? So we square both sides. So when we square both sides, the third is being eliminated. So this one is being eliminated. So we have this one x minus minus 2, right? x plus 2 square plus y square is equal to this one is x square. And this one we have y minus plus y minus 4 square. Now we can expand. So we expand this one. So we know quadratic, right? So this one we get x square. 2 times 2 times x, we get 4x. And then 2 square, we get 4. Okay. So I mean, for those who don't re really know how to calculate this, we have a plus b square, right? So this, the formula is that first you square this one, a square. And then 2 times b times a, we get 2ab. And then we square the back one plus b square. This is how we do it. I mean, for example, if we have negative b, a minus b square. So we square this one, a square. And then 2 times negative b times a, we get minus 2ab. And then we plus, we square the back one. So this is how we do it. Okay. So this one plus y square is equal to x square plus. So we square y. 2 times negative 4 times y, we get minus 8y. And then 4 square, we get 16. So we see here, x square can be cancelled out, right? So y square can also be cancelled out. So here we have 4x. So you see here we have 4x plus 4. And this side we have negative 8y plus 16. So we bring at one side 4x plus 8y. So this one we have plus 4. So positive 16 we bring to the other side become negative 16 is equal to 0. So 4x plus 8y, this one is minus 12 is equal to 0. And you see that we can uh, make the equation smaller, right? By dividing everything with 4. So this one we get x plus 2y. This one we get minus 3 is equal to 0. I mean, we can also uh, arrange it in, uh, in y is equal to mx plus c, anything, but it will still be the same thing, right? Okay, and now B. So we know that C, P is equal to P, D, where C is negative 3, 5, and D is 2, negative 4. So basically, the distance of C, P is X minus, this one is negative 3, square plus Y minus 5, square is equal to, so this one is X minus 2, square plus, this one is Y minus negative 4, square. So here we get x plus 3 square plus y minus 5 square is equal to x minus 2 square plus y plus 4 square. You see here we have third in both sides so we can cancel out by squaring both sides square square. So third can be eliminated so here we have x plus 3 square plus y minus 5 square is equal to x minus 2 square plus y plus 4 square. Now, now you can expand. So this one, x plus 3 square, we get x square. 2 times 3 times x, we get 6x. 3 square, we get 9. And we expand this one, we get y square. 2 times negative 5 times y, we get negative 10 y. 5 square, we get 25. Okay, and this one is equal to, so we expand that one. x square, 2 times negative 2 times 4, we get minus 4x. And 2 square, we get plus 4. This one, y plus 4 square, we get y square. 2 times 4 times y, we get xy. And then 4 square, we get 16. 
okay so we see here x square at both side we can cancel out y square at both side we can cancel out okay so we can bring everything at one side so we have 6x here okay so we have 6x so i want to bring so i have a negative 4x on the right side so we bring to the left negative 4x become plus 4x okay um, so we have negative y here negative y so i want to bring this one positive 8y bring to the other side become negative 8y and then okay we have 9 plus 25 and at this side we have positive 4 bring to the other side become negative 4 positive 16 bring to the other side become negative 16 is equal to 0 so i bring everything to the left side so this one 6 plus 4 is 10x negative 10 minus 8 we get negative 18y so this one 9 plus 25 we get 34 34 minus 0 30 30 minus 16 we get 14 Right, okay, then just use calculator. So this one, we, we can see that we can make it smaller. We can divide everything with 2. So we get 5x minus 18 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2. Okay, so this is the answer. C, JP is equal to KP. So JP, so we know that J is 2, 3. And then our K is 6, 8. Okay, so the distance J to P, this one is X minus 2 square plus Y minus 3 square is equal to, this one is X minus 6 square plus Y minus 8 square. So we can remove third by squaring both sides, so square square, then the third will be eliminated. So we have x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square is equal to this one x minus 6 square plus y minus 8 square. Now we can expand x minus 2 square. First we square the x. 2 times negative 2 times x we get minus 4x. And then 2 square we get plus 4. So this one y square. 2 times negative 3 times y we get minus 6y. And then 3 square we get 9 is equal to this one when you square x square we get x square 2 times negative 6 times x we get minus 12x and then here 6 square we get 36 so here we get plus y square okay so this one you have to be careful this one is plus right so it doesn't matter but if you have negative and you have uh, square like this make sure you open the bracket first before you uh, multiply with the minus sign okay so this one 36 right so this one is y square 2 times negative 8 times y we get minus 16y and then 8 square we get plus 64 so we can eliminate x square we can eliminate y square so we see here this one is negative but this one is more negative so if you bring everything to the left hand side we can make it positive so here we have negative 4x right so i bring negative 12x to the left so here we get plus 12x so done with x okay and then i have negative 6y so this one i have negative 16y bring to the other side become positive 16y okay done with y so we have the number here so now on the left hand side we have 4 and 9 plus 4 plus 9 on the right hand side we have positive 36 bring to the other side become negative 36 and I have 64 bring to the other side, we get minus 64 is equal to 0. Okay, so negative 4 plus 12, we get 8x. This one, negative 6 plus 16, we get 10y. So this one is so 4 plus 9 minus 36 minus 64, we get minus 87 is equal to 0. So we cannot make the equation smaller. So this is the final answer.